hello and welcome back to the website design tutorial and Mackenzie query so now in the in the last video I showed you how to create the testimonial section and we did that it came out nicely and so we have completed the home page but have we we still need to make sure that the home page is responsive responsive meaning that it has to um, any if people using their mobile phones access the website it still looks good to them let's try that and see okay now it still looks a bit scattered there are still some things that we probably might want to change like this needs to go to the middle here and um, we scroll down I can see the rest just line up perfectly except this one this one doesn't line up um, as I would want it to so how do we change all those things that's what I'm going to be showing you on this video so let's go back to um, um, our elemental page where we are able to edit these things now if you look down at the bottom bottom left here you are going to see responsive mode there is a button here responsive mode when you click on it you can see three tabs it allows you to switch from desktop to tablet to mobile so when you switch to any of these it changes the view for you and then allows you to be able to edit and change whatever you want you, you, you get what I mean you can change the design for it to fit okay so now um, now we have changed we have switched to tablet view we can change whatever you change here does not affect the other uh, what are the changes you've made to your desktop view okay it gets saved differently so let's do let's look at this now this tablet view this is just at the middle there I want it to go to the extreme end so um, I'm going to come here and um, do it's supposed to go to the right isn't it okay right let's edit the yeah the navigation menu to come yes right at the bottom here we can see the toggle align the hamburger we click on this right one so it just moves it to the extreme right so you can also switch um you can also toggle in between this hamburger that is having it to display a hamburger when someone clicks that it can open up the menu or it just opens up straight up okay you can choose either of that you know you can choose any of them and then um you know centralize that just like that you can do this or i prefer to use um the hamburger and let's just centralize that shall we okay so then let's scroll down and see what other things we might need to touch up okay we can see the schedule and appointments um, it's not quite centralized so I'm, uh, I'm going to deal with that by I'm going to right click on this column click on edit column there I'm just going to okay right mm, just increase it a bit to let it be here right and after that I'm going to horizontally align this actually I'm going to I'm going to move edit this other one I'm um, just going to increase it okay I'm just going to push it a bit like this okay and it looks centralized now doesn't it let's just put it once more I think that's okay it's centralized so we're okay with that um, what else do we need to make sure is fine I think everything is fine here so if we're done with the responsive mode for tablet we can switch to mobile okay now we can see how the mobile one looks like let's let's start from the top you can see the top here this one doesn't quite align so I'm going to edit this logo 
and just centralize it here by clicking this alignment clicking right there you see it centralizes it that's fine okay i'm also going to deal with this hamburger i'm going to centralize that which is now fine okay um i i like the image like this the image is okay hmm. this is the welcome message you read more services that's fine testimonial that's fine then this schedule an appointment edit that let's edit that and uh, centralize this and um, also we are going to do the same for the button centralize that button now they are both centralized which is pretty cool right and uh, this one also once this is like this I want these also to be centralized to get that one done we'll go to style then we go to content and then we see alignment here you just click on center and then that centralizes it let's come to edit the social icons here at the bottom here you can see center and that just centralizes it so this one is already centered so we don't need to bother about that one so let me switch to the other ones i guess this one is fine is okay like this i'm i'm okay with it so if we click on tablets you can see nothing changed it didn't change it didn't spoil any of it um then we go to desktop view also and it still remains perfect we can update this so that's how you deal with responsiveness in your uh, website so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video Mackenzie out